Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. Um, in the last video, I showed you how to define a statement and uh, not a statement, a variable and all the common variable types. Now in this video, I'll be teaching you about a statements. Now, if you have any prior knowledge in programming, you probably know what an if statement is. If you don't, that's fine. I'll explain it here. So basically, what an if statement is, is it takes a, in a condition and it checks if that uh, condition is true. For example, we can say um, if cat uh, can meow, meow, then let's feed the cat. All right, now that's a normal English sentence, but that's how we program. We can do, for example, if one is equal to one, then great, <laughs> for example. Now, in terms of code, that would look like, like this. If, and then the condition, and then we end it, right? And so basically, if the condition is true, whatever is in here between the if and the end is going to execute. All right. Um, let me show an example. So that way I think you will, you will be able to uh, wrap your head around that uh, much more easily. Let's define a variable a and set it to one and then b to two. And let's check if a is greater than b. We're going to say if, and then the condition is a is greater than b and then oh, come on b and then we're going to end the statement and then if a is greater than b we're going to put um a is greater than b now let's save it and run it and we see nothing because a is not greater than b but what if you turn this around and say b is greater than a now let's change the text let's save it and run it we see b is greater than a because this statement right here is true. It, it returns a boolean, either true or false. And if it's true, it's going to execute here. But what if we say that um, if it's not true, we want it to say something else. That's where the else statement comes in. So we simply just write an else. And we say puts b is not greater than a. Now let's run it. And we should get the same result because we haven't changed anything. This is still true. So it's going to execute this. But what if we change a to three? Now we should get b is not greater than a because this is how it's going to go through the code. So we come to the if and we check if b is greater than a and it checks if is two greater than three. No. So let's go to the else. And then no matter what we the condition is if it's false it's just gonna come here and it says puts b is not greater than a all right but how do we check for example if um we want to say which one is the greater greatest and um to see if they're equal in one condition we're not gonna type in like five is what we're gonna do is basically say if a is b um greater than b we're gonna say puts a is greater than B then else if uh, else if that's where the else if comes in but we don't spell else if normally we don't put an E um, we're gonna say else if B is greater than A but B is greater than A and then the else um, if neither of those are true we're gonna say a is equal to B and then we're gonna end the statement all right so let's just go ahead and run it and see what we get we see a is greater than B and that is true all right now let's um, change the value here to 4 and we get a is equal to B which is not true uh, oh I messed it up. I wanted to put it like this. If B is greater than A, yep. Um, we should get B is greater than A. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, and then what if they're actually equal? A is equal to B. Yep, that's true. All right, so let's see how the code uh, goes ahead. So first of all, it goes here um, and it says if A is greater than B. So is 4 greater than 4? No, it's going to skip to the else if. And it's going to say, is B greater than A? 
is 4 greater than 4? No. So it's gonna go to the else and it's gonna say a is equal to b. But what if b is smaller? Um, we're gonna say it's gonna come here and it's gonna check is a greater than b is 4 greater than 3? Yep. So it's gonna execute this and nothing else will be executed because it's just gonna skip to the end. Now if we switch that around it's gonna come up here and it's gonna say is a greater than b is 3 greater than 2? Nope. Else if is b greater than a is 3 greater than 2? Yep. We're gonna put in this we're gonna uh, run this code and we're gonna skip to the end. Alright, b is greater than a. So it's really simple. I hope you guys um, can wrap your hand around the if, state if statement. It's a pretty simple statement and it's pretty much the um, basics of programming. That's how much, that's basically how all programming works. So I'll see you in the next video.